Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. No, I think, I think it's what I was saying when I was saying. Yeah. I said, these brothers, they will marry. <laughs> you people, you will marry. Yeah. All of you. Since 2009. Yeah, all all of, of, God, they were in a very new relationship. Yeah. Yes. And, and all of you, you will marry. Yeah, but there was also a spirit that was trying to make him to watch some things before. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Some videos that But, but I've stopped, stuff. really stopped, because yeah. I don't want those things. Yes. So now I'll I'll, I also dream myself. I see myself in my former house, mm. and also I dream uh, yeah, there's a lady like uh, comes to have an uh, affair with yes, me. Yes, like your spiritual wife. Yeah, and God then God uh, when you. I wake up, I see like I have a wet dream. It's so caused by the videos. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. it's caused by yeah, those. It's your stagnation. Man. So I'll pray for you. Don't worry. I'll yeah. pray for you. Jesus will help you. Stand yes. here. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hands. Receive this power now. In Jesus' name. Jesus, my name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Good evening, viewers. My name is Jason, Jason Shorimoto from Mauritius. And uh, I came with the group that uh, actually came from Mauritius with uh, the servant of God, uh, Manish. And the issue that brought me here to Charis Missionary Church was that uh, I was seeing uh, stagnation in my life, uh, limitation, and also delay. So I wanted to come here and uh, receive total deliverance, total freedom, and uh, everything that God wants uh, want, wants for me actually so and uh, that's why that's why I came okay so concerning stagnation I was seeing that uh, I'm nearly 33 and uh, I've not been in a relationship uh, or had a girlfriend since 2009 and I wanted to know uh, why it was like that and also maybe at first I thought it was maybe it was something spiritual that I said I was focusing on God but maybe behind it there was some some issues that I needed to maybe dig deeper to know to understand what was happening to me and also concerning my my job and concerning uh, that I wanted to really serve God uh, concerning the job actually uh, I was uh, there was kind of a, a dilemma I wanted to to serve God and I wanted to have instruction and guidance as to how I'm gonna do this to actually serve God and there's also the issue that uh, I, I mean concerning my job so I wanted some confirmation so Prophet Andres when we were in a group session uh, spoke to me and said uh, my brother where is your father and I told him he was in Mauritius and uh, he said that my father is not well something which I, I said uh, that uh, he actually drinks a lot and then Prophet Andres said that uh, he sees him uh, uh, being hospitalized very soon and uh, I want to confirm that uh, he said that it was because of the alcohol he's drinking and also he said that he sees something like uh, uh, inside like even the liver is starting to get affected and uh, he said uh, if if uh, he doesn't stop uh, this uh, alcohol so he sees him being hospitalized and uh, that we needed to pray i needed to pray for him he said if i was praying for him i said yes i was praying for him and that he's not uh, a christian and uh, prophet also said that uh, his worry is that uh, he doesn't want uh, him to 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 go before he knows the Lord uh, Jesus Christ so 
that's uh, what uh, he said. So he said that uh, we need to pray. I need to pray and we, we are going to pray for him also. Okay, during the one-on-one -on -one session with uh, Prophet Andres, he asked me that uh, if uh, I had a business, so if I was doing a business, and I said, no, uh, I'm actually working. And uh, he said concerning the job that uh, he, uh, he sees me working uh, in a job, but uh, he, he does not see me working there for uh, a long time. Okay. Because he, he said but that my heart is not actually at that uh, job. So, and then I said, uh, I said, yes, prophet, because actually I wanted to, to go to, uh, to serve uh, in a ministry. I wanted to be a disciple uh, at the Skoan. I was thinking about that, or even the ministry of uh, John Chi, Apostle John Chi. Ark of God's Covenant Ministry. So, I want. To, I was thinking about that, and uh, and then I, I wanted confirmation. So, but actually, Prophet said that uh, uh, me, I want, I want to serve God. It's then that uh, he called uh, uh, Pastor Manish, and then he spoke with Manish, and he said that this brother wants to serve God, and uh, he also spoke about my job that uh, I I want to to. Uh, I mean, he doesn't see me working for a long time there. So, and then I said, and then he said uh, that uh, concerning, uh, I, I don't need to travel. He said, this brother don't, doesn't need to, to travel. And he said that uh, I have an opportunity for that I met uh, this group from Charis and also coming here to Charis Missionary Church in South Africa. So, and he said that uh, I can I can learn from, uh, as Manish has learned from Charis here, and I can also learn from from Manish, and I don't need to travel anywhere. And I had that opportunity that I, I got connected with uh, with Charis, so that's what uh, he said. And there's also uh, he spoke about a house. If if I bought a house, and I said that actually I brought some documents. Uh, concerning the uh, state land that we have from uh, Mauritius since 2005, my mother got it, but we haven't been able to build uh, a house there. And he said, uh, "Yes, uh, that's uh, uh, we." He needed to pray, and then he asked for the document, and he began to to pray. And he and I said to him that uh, my mother always said that he uh, she wants to have the house built before she dies, and. And uh, Prophet Andres uh, actually prayed and he said that, yes, your mother uh, will not die before he sees the house uh, being uh, built. So for the grace and the money, uh, he was praying for the grace and the money to be able to build that house. Also uh, prayed, uh, he also said concerning the issue of, I was telling him that I, I dream about uh, seeing myself in my former house and also I, I dream about uh, seeing a, a lady that comes to me to have an uh, affair with me in a dream and he said uh, like it was a, like a spiritual spiritual wife so and then uh, he said also that was caused by the some a, a spirit that uh, was uh, trying to to have me watch some videos and uh, which I confirm to be to be true, and then I said that I'm no longer watching uh, those things because I don't want the, those uh, those things in my life. So, and then said, yes, uh, we're gonna pray for you, and uh, I believe uh, you're gonna be free today. And also, there's also the, uh, concerning the marriage. He spoke. He said even before when he came uh, with the group session, he said these brothers will marry. Yeah, he said that. Yeah. Yeah, I've been yeah I've been single for since I became a Christian in 2009. Yeah, yeah. But I I always thought that it was a spiritual thing to say that uh, I I'm actually focusing on God. But and then I, when I thought about it more, maybe it's caused by something else, you know, that I was not being aware of. So that's he said that uh, he spoke about spiritual wife and 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 like that's why the maybe the blockage was coming from so actually uh since uh maybe november november 2021 i did my I, I renewed my passport because i wanted to travel like i said uh even t uh, to some ministry that is that have the power of god that uh, that works uh, in in deliverance ministry 
So I wanted to go there uh, because, uh, and then I wanted some confirmation. Where should I go? Uh, I, I've I've been watching Charis since uh, uh, when Prophet TB Joshua died. I I actually was looking for the tributes uh, on YouTube, and then I came from a video that uh, Apostle Makananisa was talking about TB Joshua, and from there I watched uh, the videos uh, of. Uh, uh, the ministry here, Charis, and then ever since I've been watching the testimonies of people being healed, delivered, and uh, receiving their freedom. So, and then, but I didn't still was uh, there was that indecision. I didn't know where to go. So, and while I was praying in uh, February of 2022, I saw a video uh, that was posted two hours, two hours. Uh, two hours from when I was watching and then I saw Manish but I said I know this guy I know this guy so actually uh, Manish was working uh, in the same company as me uh, but he left the company in 2018 and then I, I lost all communication and contact with him since 2018 and then I saw this video in 2022 so and then I I I took it as a confirmation that I should be coming to, to Charis because what are the odds of me finding uh, somebody I knew and I've been wanting to come uh, to, to Charis since that time, since that February 2022. So, and then when they all decided to come here in Charis, so actually it was, uh, I believe, a divine appointment because there was a, a video that... Uh, there was a picture actually uh, from a f WhatsApp status that uh, Manish posted and I just commented on, on it. I just uh, put an emoji on it and then uh, Manish said, uh, are you, we are all going to Charis and he told me if I wanted to come. And I said yes, in about f 30 minutes I decided yes, I want to go to, to Charis. And the next, the next day I paid for the, uh, the flight the ticket we booked the ticket and then here i am today so i i believe that god uh, orchestrated everything for me to be here today and to receive uh, freedom deliverance and healing so actually how, how I'm, I'm feeling very uh, i'm feeling really because i i've always wanted to to receive a uh, a prophetic word and i know that uh, prophet andres doesn't know anything from me anything from my life and uh, the way that he was able to tell me about my my father and what was happening in my father's life even before i said anything so so i know that it is from god and everything that we've been talking all this time uh, I've been receiving uh, those words and I believe I got some con some confirmation and uh, really I'm looking forward to, to, to really apply what he's been telling me and uh, to see a difference uh, in my life going forward and uh, I'm, I'm happy. Yes. Yes. God bless you. Thank you. Good evening, people of God. My name is Jason Shoremutu from uh, Mauritius. And uh, I've got an opportunity to speak with the man of God, Apostle uh, Makananisa. Uh, then uh, he said like uh, that uh, he sees uh, that God will use people from Mauritius itself. He will, uh, God will raise people from Mauritius itself and bring revival, will bring uh, to, to the nation of Mauritius. And uh, he said that uh, I need to be humble. I need to, to serve under... Uh, Pastor Manish and then from there God is going to, to grow to grow the ministry and uh, he said that I need to uh, get connected to to uh, Pastor Manish and uh, to to support him uh, in prayer and and then from there on and maybe uh, I will see God will use me will uh, and I'll have my uh, own ministry 
and uh, and it will grow from there. So I want to encourage all people that are actually watching Charis, just just like me. I've been watching f uh, since uh, I've discovered Charis, maybe about July two thousand and one or August two thousand and one. So, and uh, I've been wanting to to come ever since. And I believe that for you also, you've been watching and you've been praying about it, and you've been asking God for confirmation. And uh, I believe God will answer you just as he's answered me also when I was praying for confirmation. And I want to say continue uh, with God, continue to pray, continue to seek God, continue to pursue God. And you will see that uh, God will do really incredible mir miracles for you in your life. And you will receive total freedom, total deliverance, total healing, total restoration and breakthrough. And uh, everything that the devil has stolen from you, you will receive it back.